So everybody, welcome back. So this is all set now. It's looking great. Um, very happy with that. I have I had a couple of little bits of uh, glitter on my board, which I've tried to clean up, but I don't mind if there's some in there. Um, so I've just mixed about 90 milliliters of resin. The resin I'm using is Aldex. Uh, crystal cast and I just got to change my chair this chair is too squeaky and, and really annoying so okay so I've just picked a couple of colors for my background um, I just want to have a little bit of something there so I've got this really lovely um, old-fashioned pink powder and I've got a deep green powder it's like a forest green with a little bit of uh, another shimmery powder which is uh, a lumilite pearlescent powder so I'll just mix them together you can mix your powders together you can mix them in after you've poured in your resin but I don't mind just doing it as is and I'm going to leave a little bit of clear just in case I feel that I need to do um, another color in there so pour in a tiny little bit of resin in your powder first to give it a really good mix and when you're happy with the mix and there's no lumpy bits then you can add some more resin and powders are pretty good and uh, you can use more than the 10% ratio of your powders this this um, it's quite a beautiful beautiful pink because it turns into it has this beautiful gold golden sort of uh, uh, waves through it that you don't really see until you pour it in it's like a pearl like a pearly kind of um, <coughs> pearl through it. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Whenever I go like this, you can see that uh, sort of stream of uh, of like gold through it. I think I might call this one pink gold. It's uh, actually quite a pretty, pretty one. And this one. I went ahead and poured the whole thing in without mixing it first, which is something that you shouldn't do because it doesn't mix as well. Should do a, a nice little paste out of it first and then then mix in the rest. The rest of the resin. Okay, so that's not too bad. It's kind of lift it. I always check on the sides to see if I have any any lumpy bits or any kind of bits that don't look like they've been mixed. But this is looking pretty good, and that lovely shimmer in there, that pearlescent um, powder I put in there, it just really lifts it, and makes it look great. Okay, so now how to do it. I think I'm going to need a little bit of um, white as well in there. Some sort of a, something to, to break, break these two. But let's see. I'm just going to go in between here first. Actually, I'm going to use my pipette. One of the ones that I've used already a hundred times. And... Yeah, so here's one already been used and snipped it's just easier for me to use it this way it's uh, much more accurate and not as um, messy and you're minimizing the possibility of um, dripping onto where you don't want to drip you know but at the moment I just want to kind of 
just do a rough little pour in between uh, inside the wings rather and I might actually do a shimmer in there I might mix some of that pearlescent with some resin and just mix it in with this just add, add it to this just so I've got a little bit of shimmer in there but at the moment that's looking pretty good the thing is if I do that I'm just thinking now out loud um, I run a risk of um, once I get the resin everywhere else that uh, this will pull in between these uh, little caps and the shimmer will, will kind of spread so I'm gonna think about that and maybe not do that actually so okay so that's that a bit more here now I can go a little bit more generously Oh okay. god. This is gonna be pretty random. Once again, you've got to get up. Pretty random. Um let's see. A bit there. A little bit there. I'm just gonna go around here. Okay. Quite a few bubbles there. Which I'm going to pop. Um, I'm just going to pop them, these bubbles with a heat gun. Righto. Some of this green now. So I want to overlap it and I think I'm definitely going to need some more of a lighter colour. This green is, I really don't use green enough. It's a beautiful earth, earthy colour and it goes really, really well. Really, really, really? Really well. Really well. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> goes well with the um, pinks that's a bit heaps there we say in Australia goes great with pinks and especially when um, doing stuff like like this you know and I'm gonna leave it just for a second and get a little bit of white and then um, actually I'm gonna try and spread it a little bit a bit more of this clear and I also like to do the clear afterwards just straight over the top you know because it just creates these beautiful um, dimensional kind of effects where it looks like well it does that the clear falls through the actual pigmented resin and um, and then it just goes completely smooth over the top of it so you can actually see it falling through beautiful so I like this kind of effect because all that shimmer that I've put in that green mixed in with this pink is working well so I'm just going to the edge now just to spread it not worried about how it looks there at the moment because I've got more resin and um, I'm going to add some more resin I don't, know what, I don't know what's in this pink but it's, it's changing colors on me which is really awesome okay so this is nice get your hands involved somebody commented on one of my video saying use enough resin then you don't have to use your hands I love using my hands that's the whole point you know I get to really feel what's going on underneath it you know? that's the whole point for me 
gonna get in there. See that one moved because it didn't really glue properly, but that's all good because the resin is gonna grab it and hold it in place. It's pushing that. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! I gotta fix something, and I need my alcohol wipe to do that. Here's how I'm going to do it. I just had a tiny little drop there, which is fine. It's not a big boo-boo, but it is a boo-boo. So I've just got a paintbrush and my alcohol wipe, and I'm just going to wipe that off. See? Gonski. No problem. Okay, so let's go with some more of this around. I hope it's not taking away too much from, from the actual painting because um, I really want all of these to, to pop. See, that's seeping through. It's um, really hard to avoid because there are gaps in between these little um, caps. It's a little bit hard to avoid that, but we will work with that, right? Mixing these colors together. I find you can do that comfortably with, with the metallics or the powders. Works super well. Can't really do it as good as this with the acrylics. I used to use acrylic paint in, in resin in the past, uh, and I don't use it, don't use them again, and will not use them again because they don't give me the effects that I want. Look at that! How cool is that? I'll put some more over here, but it is taken away a little bit from the actual design. See how we go. I'm going to add some more of this in here. What is that? Okay. I just use this one to mix it in rather than my fat fingers. I just want to get in into all of it so there's no gaps, you know. Just love these swirly effects that you get. It's awesome. They will even even out. I need some more resin here, so I'm just going to add some of this glue in there because I don't have any of the other one left. And just bring it gently to the edge, like so. And you can see where you need more resin and where you don't. So for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you, uh, I get quite often I get new new people and uh, they say oh, I just stumbled across your channel so welcome, I really appreciate you popping in and having a look at what I do um, and if you are not already in my Facebook group please join us at Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks, which is me, and we have quite a lot of people in there who 
are absolutely ready to help out and give a hand and you know with with techniques with supplies and we've got people there from all over the world which is um, it's really good it started off as an Australian group but uh, it kind of evolved and uh, it's gone global so you're welcome to, to join the group either Laura or myself will accept you and uh, do share your art and tell us a little bit about you and why you joined the group and or you don't have to some people just join just because they just want to um, learn and, and watch other people's uh, development and and things like that so wow that's really cool now you don't have to do this guys you if you want to do it your way do it your way my way is not uh, the only way to do things just do it the way your intuition your create creativity is leading you to do this is these are just ideas just ideas that's all it is so what I'm doing is I'm just pushing this over to to kind of cover these bare bits around the tail and I'm going to go around here as well because I can see some bits that are not covered like that one there and in here as well you can use a smaller smaller um, instrument to do it well, a toothpick works really well especially with these tiny little bits that I might actually get to with a toothpick and, um, that's it I'm just going to have a look at it a little bit and just see if it needs anything else. I definitely want to get the heat gun onto it some more. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to get one of these skewers, which I use quite a bit, and see if I can pull this in a little bit just to make it look interesting since it decided to kind of flow inside. I'll pick up some of it here and just drag it in there that's why it's always a good thing don't like that that's disturbing me this the, the, the actual wings on the inside look at that it looks like flames won't stay like that <laughs> so now I have to do the same with this side so it looks a little bit you know symmetrical and even just a tiny little bit and I'll do the same with the green I think um, I don't know what it looks like from up there but from down here it looks really pretty but it looks like my little um, dragonfly is drowning a little bit so I'm thinking I might need to Going in there. I might need to um, get some another color just to break it up a little bit maybe a little bit of white yep definitely think I need a little bit of white so I'm just going to quickly go and mix up some white okay so I've just got uh, a white pigment which I'm just going to put in so I'm just going to actually get a little bit of this There. Leave some in the cup, even a few drops, it really helps. A little bit of pigment, not too much. This is different now, it's not a powder. And so it's going to, and this is quite a solid, it's, it's more of a um, solid shade, I should say. So there's no change in there there's no shimmer there's no nothing and it's not too opaque which is which is okay don't mind that at all okay let's see how I can do this now I'm gonna have to do a random type thing and then blend it in um, I have asked the people in my group about the background on this 
and uh, a lot of the people were saying yep definitely add some color contrasting colors or uh, I should say complementing colors and uh, uh, a lady said uh, one of the ladies said use some white and I think that was a wise wise advice so thank you very much for that of course because I read so many comments during the day I forgot who it came from so do forgive me and if you're watching the video put your name down in the comments so that we all know that it was you who had this brilliant idea so putting this white in which is just a white uh, pigment paste it's an acrylic based but it's, uh, it's not a, a paint per se it's a it's a pigment paste okay so now that I've got that mess in there okay now we're going to introduce some of this What I'm doing, I'm just blending it. I'm trying to anyway. I know that looks like I put a lot of heat in there. Went to open my door and um, that does look like I put a lot of heat in there but I really wanted to blend it in and I didn't use the the fast setting I only use the slower setting I might just get rid of that um, sort of shine from the light um right well you know what that's not looking half bad now that'll be pretty hot now so I've just got to be careful. Okay, it's not too bad. Just going around and creating a little bit of something there. So it looks interesting. And these colors are blending together. That's what I want. I don't want it to look like it's just been poured on. to have something interesting happen in there might just get a little bit of this right in here just to kind of separate that from there a little bit could use another stick shouldn't I so that's pretty wet it's still moving play with it so you could leave it black you could leave it and um, do it one color single color with a little bit of maybe tiny little bit of shimmer but it's already got more shimmer there but I'm happy with that because I've got my dragonfly back I can see him, even though it's it's kind of looking busy there how does it look up there I know it looks really busy but I'm not I'm not too disappointed, you know, I, I, I kind of like it. Um, that's going to continue to work. Like I said, it's still very, very, very um, uh, fresh and it's moving quite a lot. So it's going to be doing some more blending and uh, I might just give it a little bit with the heat gun and then just uh, leave it alone. Okay. That's it. No more. Just look sideways to see if I got any bubbles or any foreign things in there to pull out. And that's it, guys. Um, I don't mind that. Let's see. Let's see how it works when it's uh, completely um, set, and then I'll bring you down so you can see what's going on. Thank you so much for watching. 
Okay, so I've decided to do something different. It just looked too busy. So I was thinking of doing some gentle swipes and bringing this out to the edge and just see how that tones it down a little bit. And it uh, just looks like um, there's motion there, like the dragonfly is flying and pulling through, pushing through the air flying over the wow and I'm getting some coarse cells while I'm doing this. So I do apologize for fiddling so much but sometimes I walk away and then look at it and I'm thinking no, 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 that is not working. So I'm just going to go around with this, it's still pretty wet. Which is kind of great for me because I need to keep going with this and uh, and fix it so that's all I'm doing I'm going to stop talking I'm just going to speed this up but anyway I just wanted to show you what I'm doing Cells, 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 everywhere. Yep. Now I'm happy. Now, and just need a little bit, tiny little bit of this white actually, just to pop in there and then pull that through. Just needed some more white there, like so. Okay. Yep, now it's done. Now, I'm not touching it anymore. That's it. That is it. Okay, real happy with this now. It's still moving. Just wanted to show you that uh, bit of a close-up of the whole thing. And some of the really, really cool effects. See here. They're actually cells. They're not pigments. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can actually see. Yeah, so hard to do it with a camera. They look like tiny little beads. That's what it looks like. Tiny little beads in inside the the background there. Colors blended in. Totally accidental, really. Um, and also fiddling and not giving up. See, that looks like it's raised, but it's not. That's actually all happening underneath the resin. And I'll show you, because when I go like so, see? Smooth. Totally smooth. So there you have it. Another resin um, dragonfly for me. Bit different this time, but I quite like him. I think it's a her, actually. Hmm. I have to give her a name. Thanks for watching.